Hello everybody, Shakar is from Lalking Gear. Welcome to this week's LOL Post Game Review. Today's topic is the newly reworked super tanky Statue of Justice, Galio. In last week's match between RNG and Aimei, RNG's mid laner Xiao Hu suddenly brought out the mid lane Galio after dropping the first game. This was Galio's first appearance in the LPL in the mid lane. Thanks to Xiao Hu's courage for bringing out the champion, we could see that the pick wasn't completely abnormal. In this episode, let's talk about this big guy who is both powerful and helpful. The post rework Galio is more of a team oriented champion. Losing a large amount of his old burst potential, the new Galio gained higher levels of initiation, crowd control, and support abilities. With a dash ability, a semi global, three AoE hard CCs that either taunt or knock up, and the shield that reduces magic damage, we couldn't ask more from a frontline tank. At the same time, Galio is still a mage. His Q ability is an AoE with short cooldown, which allows him to scale comfortably in the mid lane. Therefore, Galio becomes not only a frontline tank in the late game, but also a tanky mage who scales well and can be equipped with good items. Most of the Galios we have seen in LPL so far have built tank items, whether they were top, mid, or support. This is because Galio's Q does percent max health damage, which means he can build tanky and still have decent damage output. Now let's talk about Galio's role in a match. Despite being recently reworked, he has a very flamboyant kit. The professional players couldn't wait to try him out on the competitive stage. In the final week of the regular LPL split, Zhao Hu brought out the mid lane Galio and demonstrated his role, in a perfect comp for him, an initiator in a protect the 80 carry comp. Protect the AD carry comp refers to when most of the team is protecting the one core champion. The protected champion deals most of the damage on the team. The AD carry is usually chosen instead of the mid laner because the AD carry has better sustained damage and is not as reliant on cooldowns. The AD carry of course must have a high level of ability to carry. There are more factors to take into account however, please pay attention to the following details. First, the choice of AD carry champion. The core AD carry must be able to deal a high amount of damage in a teamfight. Champions such as Kog'Maw, Twitch, or Jinx are all good choices. But these champions usually lack the means to protect themselves and need to rely on their teammates. The reworked Galio is perfectly suited for this. Galio's abundance of CC abilities can protect his AD carry in a teamfight. This can be combined with traditional support champions such as Lulu, Karma, and Janna that can give the AD carry a ton of shields and buffs. Second, how to execute the strategy. The biggest advantage of a protect the ADC comp is that the strategy is straightforward. Protect the ADC in a teamfight and let him output damage. This is also straightforward for the enemy, as they only have to focus on killing the ADC to win the teamfight. Therefore, the win condition depends on whether the core of the composition, the AD carry, can fulfill his role and deal the required damage. The team needs to prioritize on letting the AD carry scale, which means playing reactively and not aggressively until the AD carry has enough items. After the AD carry has reached an item threshold, then look to group into each towers. The focus throughout the map should be to make rotations and build tempo while avoiding direct confrontations in the jungle. Of course, these are just general tips on how to play the comp. In order to help everyone better understand how to play it, let's take a look at the second game between RNG and Aimei in the 10th week of the LPL regular season. First, let's put the spotlight on the main character of today's show, Galio. Although this is mid lane Galio's debut on the competitive stage, he was not contained at all even by the dominant early game laner Karma. Galio spammed his high damage Q to continuously push the lane and avoid direct fighting with Karma. By keeping himself very healthy at all times while having a dash and a damage reduction ability, Galio discourages the enemy jungler from even thinking about ganking him. On the other hand, Karma could not keep up with Galio's roaming from his ultimate ability. We notice that both teams are running the protect the AD carry comp. The difference is, Aimei is using Shen, Karma, and Lubu to protect their ADC as they can provide a lot of shields for the ADC that can nullify the threat from enemy assassins. RNG is using Kled and Galio as their dual frontliners, using their damage and CC aggressively in a teamfight to create space for Kog'Ma to deal damage. Using the teamfight at 2715 as an example, we can see the Kled ulting the enemy team to initiate. At this moment, Kled is far away from his team. This could result in him getting picked off and the team formation breaking down. But Galio ulted on top of Kled to reduce the damage they take and change the outcome of the battle. Now, Aimei can neither kill the Kled nor retreat. They are forced to engage the two frontliners. The flanking Rengar then follows up the initiation by jumping in and attracting the enemy's attention. While under the protective cover fire from the frontliners, creating a lot of pressure on the enemy backliners, now that Kog'Ma has entered the teamfight, the enemy team could no longer pose any threat to him since they have already been pushed to the side. 
Shen's taunt is already on cooldown, and Karma can no longer withstand Kog'Maw's focus fire. After the Karma dies, the enemy team could not do anything against the Kog'Maw, nor could they protect their Twitch. Aimei could not do anything as their team get annihilated. As the patches update, the AD Carry's role within the game has been steadily increasing in importance. The old Protect the AD Carry comp became meta once again, but there are more options than the traditional mid lane mage within the comp. The mid lane Galio only has to play the frontline tank role well to easily win the game. Offense is the best defense. Instead of the traditional defensive formation while pushing lanes, why not use more aggressive frontliners to create more space for the AD Carry? This has been the LPL post game review. My name is Chakrez and I'm translating for Caster Remember from the LPL. See you all next week.